what I personally think, okay? I think that what's happening around the world it was created was created by politics, media, and it's all about financial gain. And let me run this scenario now. I'm going to be a little quick. I'm going to talk fast, but because I, there's so much just going through my head right now. So we go back to January. Okay, January, the U.S. and China signed the trade agreement, and now things are going to work out. The whole idea, the fight between the U.S. and China was simply because the Chinese government used to devaluate their currency to make their currency cheap so they can sell more to the wallet, which was unfair to the U.S. and the rest of the wallet. And also, China had what we call a handout technology. If you are a foreign country and you're going to invest in China or a foreign company, you have to hand out your technology. Now, Trump have been pushing and arguing and fighting with the Chinese to get them to sign this trade agreement where it will open the Chinese market to more U.S. goods that they will work with their currency, they will stop manipulating the currency, and we had the agreement last week in January. At that time, the market was all-time high. Not even two weeks later, the virus, the news about the corona start breaking out, the breakdown out of Wuhan in China. Now, let me get that straight, okay? A virus is a virus. I'm not going to talk about the virus. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical expert. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about numbers because this is what I do for a living. In the last two weeks, more than 8,500 people died in the USA out of the flu. Over the past seven weeks, there have been 4,000 total deaths worldwide. The Chinese president, two days ago, was in Wuhan, and he announced that they had contained the coronavirus. No death. No cases were reported out of China today. China population is 1.4 billion people. 1.4 billion people who are not known to be the best hygienist in the world. They don't have the high standards when it comes to food. Okay, they are just normal people. So can someone explain to me how the virus is slowing down, almost stopping in China? while it is spreading in the U.S. and in England and France and Italy. Can someone explain to me how come Russia, a country that have border lines with China for thousands of miles, only have one case? One case. Their population is 150 million. Can someone explain to me how come India, a country with 1.4 billion people, who is only literally 100 miles away from China, that only have 60 cases, 60 cases. And then we go to a country like Italy, whose population of 65 million, have 10,000 cases, 12,000 cases, and almost 1,000 human beings lost. Here's what I think. I don't believe in conspiracy, conspiracy theories, but here's what I really think. The Chinese didn't like the agreement with the U.S. Trump pushed hard. He got the agreement signed. They didn't like it. So what do we do? Let's do the virus. Let's get the wallet to freak out. All the stock markets around the wallet tumble. They go down. The Chinese market went down anywhere from 30 to 50% depending on which sector you're looking at. Stocks went down. Guess who's buying these stocks right now? China nationalized the companies, but by buying them, not by bullets, not by fighting, not by arguing, not by nationalizing or political decision, they went and bought the stocks. They are buying the stocks worldwide. Today, the U.S. market is down 10%. England is down 8%. Japan is down 6%. You know what's the Chinese market in Shanghai is down today? The Chinese market is down 1.4%. Does this make sense? Gold is down today 5%. Well, let's say who's the top holders of the gold? The U.S., England, Japan, France, China, and India. Today the gold go down, guess who's buying the gold? You figured it right. Right now, yesterday the CEO of Adidas was on TV and what did he say? All his factories in China is back online and producing 100% capacity. The supermarkets in the US and in Europe are running out of supplies. No one have been buying anything from China for the past month. But now China have contained the virus. And we're running out of supplies. 
guess what's going to happen? We're going to go buy billions and billions of dollars from supply from China. What's going to happen to the Chinese economy? Bam. Up. This is what I think what happened. It just doesn't make sense that you have only 3,000 deaths in China, a country of 1.6 billion and 80,000 cases, and they were able to control it. Why they are not sharing with the world? How did they control the virus? Why they are not sharing with the world? What did they do in the last 48 hours to stop the virus? What did they do? What did they use? Why were not getting? Why is it spreading? The whole West world is being paralyzed. The West world, no traveling, no flying, no walking. Everyone is going to be home. Schools are shut down. All the sports tournaments are shut down. We are being paralyzed. Our lifestyle are being taken away from us. Even after terrorist attacks, even after September 11, we didn't have that. They are being done to this to us on purpose. Just as I'm talking to you, Disneyland in California just announced that they are shutting down. 